With the aid of tanks, artillery, and drones, Ukrainian soldiers are clearly trying to progress south for the second consecutive night. Ukrainian authorities claim that their forces are transitioning from defensive to offensive operations in a number of sectors, gaining anywhere from 200 meters to almost 2 kilometers in the areas around Russian-controlled areas. Attacks have been made by the Ukrainian military against Russian forces occupying the vital southern area. According to the think tank, there has been an increase in troop deployment along the entire front, and not all of it is related to the Ukrainian counteroffensive. Russian military bloggers who support the Kremlin claim that the region's recent intense fighting had kept going overnight, late on Friday night. As proof that Ukraine had resumed its attacks, they pointed to the activity of armored personnel carriers and unmanned aerial vehicles aiming artillery fire. The Institute for the Study of War reports that Ukraine's long-awaited counter-offensive has begun. Ukraine has conducted counter-offensive operations with varying degrees of success in at least three sectors of the front, as part of more expanded counter-offensive attempts that have been ongoing since Friday. It is still unclear what exactly the Ukrainian forces were tasked with doing. The think tank, however, asserted that it would likely involve a number of tasks at numerous places, with varying intensities, and wouldn't likely be carried out as a single operation. Ukraine has been planning a counteroffensive for weeks at least, but it has taken its time to train its soldiers and acquire state-of-the-art military equipment from Western allies. It's also typical to run into obstacles at first. The main objective of Ukraine's defensive operation has been kept secret to prevent Russian troops from premeditating any attacks. The idea that the nine NATO-trained and equipped regiments for the counter-offensive were utilized in these recent attacks or heavily deployed on the battlefront has not yet been supported by any compelling evidence. Ukrainian forces have made tactical progress during a brief, targeted counterattacks. Ukraine recently demonstrated its capacity to carry out a planned and effective offensive operation by using multiple mechanized brigades. There is no denying that over the past 48 hours, Ukrainian operations have significantly increased. The most recent events appear to be the beginning of a bigger operation in the future, as of right now.